try and wake up. Yeah, set your alarm. Half past four. And then right away, get up and just rinse your mouth. It's important to rinse your mouth before your channeling techniques or energy channeling techniques. And then go back to your bed. Yeah, lie down. Yeah, just elevate your head yeah, like you're reclining. And then do your Nadi Shodana. Yeah. And then you will be pleasantly surprised yeah, to realize that as you do the technique, yeah, your hand will just drift away, but your mind is still doing it. <laughs> you can feel you're doing It's not imagination. It's not dreaming because you can actually feel yeah, your breath piercing in the nostril. But when you surface up, you will realize your hand is away from your face. But you can feel the technique is happening. That is also samadhi. Yeah, and the book says like your, your atma, yeah, the, the God in you becomes one with the Brahma. Yes. So they become one. Okay. Now the prana. Yeah. The prana is passive. Yeah. So this energy that we inspire. Yeah. Yes, we feel it, but in its gross form. Yeah. For it to become a spiritual force, we need to activate it. And to activate it, we need to, yeah, access our primal force. Yeah, the kundalini, the shakti. Actually, the prana is the shakti, is the kundalini in its active form. And the kundalini is the prana in its passive form. And they unite, they blend, they interact, they give power to one another during these transitions where the brain is neither asleep or awake, when the brain is about to fall into sleep, when the brain is about to wake up. But once the brain thinks